Good evening and thanks for joining us. After months of public and police scrutiny, two men have now been charged in the ongoing Senate scandal. The RCMP have laid fraud and breach of trust charges against former Liberal Senator Mac Harb and suspended Senator Patrick Brazo, a former conservative. The allegations are serious. The maximum penalty for fraud is 14 years. And as Mike LeCouture reports, this isn't the end of the police investigation. Mike? Well, Donna, it was yet another bad day to be a senator. And as you'd expect, no one in the upper chamber wanted to touch this subject. The RCMP clearly have done their job, and now it's up to the courts. What do you think about the investigation? Some days you talk, and some days you don't. And this is one of the days you don't. The Senate scandal has damaged the reputation of the Red Chamber and everyone in it. And today, the hammer really came down. The RCMP has proceeded to charge Monsieur Brazo and Mr. Arb with one count each of breach of trust and fraud. The charges follow a 10-month investigation where Mounties poured over thousands of documents including bank records and expense claims dating back to 2003 when Mac Harb was first appointed to the upper chamber. Auditors found he wrongly claimed more than $231,000 in living expenses which the ex-senator reluctantly paid back. Now, Brazo still owes nearly 50 grand in bogus housing expenses and while the suspended senator wasn't available for comment, Harb's lawyer said his client is ready to fight the charges. He uh, very clearly maintains he followed the rules and uh, he's confident that in a courtroom, a uh, judge is going to hear both sides. And well, and lived in Toronto, not Saskatchewan. Today, the NDP laid all the blame on Stephen Harper. Does the Prime Minister understand that the Senate scandal began when he started naming senators from places where they didn't even live? The Prime Minister says residence isn't the issue, but rather claiming inappropriate expenses. Is that there are clear rules to be followed in terms of the public trust and the use of public money and the claiming of expenses. When those rules are not followed, we have tough uh, measures in place to deal with that. The RCMP has acted and we congratulate them for it. Brazo and Harb were the first two senators to spark this whole scandal. And clearly the Mounties aren't done with the Red Chamber yet. I can assure you that we continue our work on other significant files. Those other files are very likely Senator Pamela Wallen's travel expenses and Senator Mike Duffy's housing claims. Donna? All right, more to come on that. Michael Couture, thanks.